Dr. Jaffe, will you please explain viral replication and its relationship to human host response? Yes, um, viruses uh, thrive when people are nutritionally deprived. Viruses thrive when people lack antioxidants like ascorbate, because ascorbate sets what's called the oxidation reduction potential. And without getting too technical, this oxidation reduction potential known as redox, that's just a contraction of oxidation reduction and flip the words around and it comes out redox. The redox is set by only one molecule in biology and that's ascorbate. And by our functional assessment, many people need more ascorbate antioxidant than they're getting. When you have enough ascorbate to have a healthy redox, which means a low redox, the viruses are turned off. When you lack ascorbate and you have a high redox, now the viruses are turned on. And that's true for RNA viruses and DNA viruses. It's true for a variety of pathogenic forms. In fact, there is a point of view that says when people are afflicted by a virus or a pathogen, it's a sign that their immune defense and repair system, their neurohormonal balance, their digestive competence, their restorative sleep, their stress adaptation uh, is in need of repair. And in a sense, the afflictions of viruses call our attention to the fact that in the 21st century, we're marinating in a sea of toxins and pathogens. And therefore, from my point of view, we need to be really careful about the quality of what we eat and drink, what we think and do. And that's especially true for the quality of our supplements that in the 21st century are necessary uh, to keep the bad stuff from accumulating inside us uh, and the good stuff, the essential nutrient good stuff, uh, from dwindling. So when we talk about these persisting pollutant chemicals or these volatile organic solvent chemicals or the toxic metals or the radioisotopes from radon to um, uh, cesium, when we talk about the mold products, that are anti-nutrients. They use up the essential nutrients. Yes, we're marinating a sea of them. Therefore, you must increase the amount of the good things you take in. The super multi to keep your urine sunshine yellow, the ascorbate based on the sea cleanse, the magnesium choline citrate based on your first morning urine pH, staying hydrated however you measure your hydration status. Checking your digestive transit time from time to time to make sure it stays in a healthy 12 to 18 hour range. What you eat for dinner at night should be coming out the next morning. Get enough restorative sleep. And for me, that includes turning the screens off several hours before the what time I'm going to bed. I might read science fiction or history or something of interest, or I might listen uh, to great music. Um, and then I would follow the salt and soda bath routine, add some salt and baking soda in a warm tub of water, maybe with a few drops of uh, an essential oil. And I'd have five minutes of abdominal breathing and 15 minutes of active meditation so that I am preparing myself to go from active during the day to restorative sleep at night. And after I dry brushed with the towel my skin, and I'm now dry enough to get into bed, or into pajamas if you wear them, um, and then I stretch for about five minutes before I fall asleep. And for five minutes when I wake up in the morning before I get out of bed. And that all helps me get the restorative sleep that keeps me well and happy. And I recommend that 
you know, to others um, as part of our 21st century survival.